Reinhardt is a very big and buff dude that apparently likes trains that we somehow didn't know about. And today we're gonna be deciding if the conductor skin is worth it or not. So as of right now, there is actually a bundle called the Conductor Bundle in the item shop that contains the Conductor Reinhardt skin, a voice line, and a spray. And so, you know, normally the skin would be about 2,000, especially since it is a legendary. All of those go for 2,000 Overwatch coins. This bundle is 1,200 for all three of those. So obviously this skin is a train conductor, and you can actually see that right here in the very front of the, of the skin. We actually have like a train cover right here, and on the back another little train caboose thing. But anyways, let's take a look at the face. So the coolest thing about this is definitely that monocle. I swear I don't ever see monocles on anything ever, and dude, Reinhardt rocks that thing like a like a crackhead dude he's so cool i love this little cap he has on and it's covered in snow he has this nice long gray hair nice bushy mustache and goatee right there at the bottom and overall his face just it does look very cool he definitely i would trust i would trust him to to drive the train that i was on but right here in the very front and center we actually have the very front of a train so you can see the light you can actually see the very iconic like circle part of the train and then whatever this is i guess it's like a, a uh, not a guardrail, but kind of like a, you know what, it's a guardrail, that's what I'm calling it. And we have some more snow covering all of these parts. The light even, like, kind of flashes on and off and kind of, like, flutters, which is really, really, really interesting. I'm glad it's not, uh, they, I'm glad that they gave it, like, a little animated feature to it. I think that is really, really, really cool. The inside of where he's actually sitting, like all the padded parts, you can see it on the very like outside of the arms and the inside of where he's sitting. You can actually see they're kind of like train seats. They have this nice little like pattern that you would actually see on seats and like leather and stuff, which is really, really, really interesting. We have some more just snow on the very tops of this. On the arms, we have these really huge pieces. We even have like little parts on the back that actually have it kind of looks like where a train would actually produce its energy, kind of like the, I don't even know what's the boiler room almost, I think that might be what it's called. It has like little pipes with like the little lights going out of it. It's really interesting. We have some more of that right here on this little piece. We have just the red all over the skin and the like the natural gray metal part everywhere. We have some little, like some golden whistles on this side of the arms on both sides of those. Man, that is really cool. The arm is some more red with metal. His fist is even like, it's this darker metal, and we have like red fingertips, some more hydraulics everywhere with little holes in them to give a little bit more detail. I mean, dude, just look at that. Look at look at the arm. And right here on this arm where the shield actually comes out, it is a train number. I don't know if that signifies anything. I don't know if that's an Easter egg for anything other than that, or if they just kind of like made up a random number, but that is there. It kind of looks like the eye of Agamotto that Doctor Strange uses, and we have kind of this interesting little shield part right here i don't know what that does but it's there down here on the front we have this like little loincloth this is actually one of those things that actually lifts up in a boiler room to actually let you shovel in more coal which is super super cool and we have some more red going everywhere i mean there's i was i'm surprised they don't have any blue because this train has blue i'm just surprised we don't have any blue anywhere we have some more of that darker metal that we saw on the hands right here for his kneecaps. And right here on his like shin, like shins and like kneecap, we actually have what it looks to be like a knee pads in the shape of that like little guardrail that you see in the front of the trains, which is really interesting. We have some more of those like little things that you would see in the boiler room up here at the top. They kind of like give out some flame effects right there. And the feet as well, it actually has some more of that like spiked up guardrail that you see all over the skin. And what's really interesting is the back. So again, the legs are just red, the back's just red. Nothing too spectacular there. But right here is where the flame actually goes out on Reinhardt and he actually like, you know, he can accelerate, go forward and that kind of stuff. It actually has a flame actually already going out of it, which is a, a lot darker than I feel like it normally looks like. I mean, this is a little bigger. I feel like the flame is a little bit more under control on this skin for some reason. It just seems calmer. It has more of a smaller radius too. But what's really cool is this little part right here where the smoke actually comes out. If you can tell, there's actually smoke coming out of the skin. So if you turn it, the smoke actually goes out exactly where that part is. And it goes up and down to give it like a little animated effect. It is super duper cool. And now that we've looked at that, let's look at this weapon. We have, again, that guardrail on the front of the train. We have, a, like, a handle for a shovel down here at the bottom, kind of like a snow shovel, which is very interesting, especially since this is, like, a, a train that would be in the snow because there is snow all over the skins. We have a, just a little random rail. Nothing too spectacular about that. We have some more fire up here, 
And that's pretty much the only interesting stuff on this. So now that we've gone through the skin, let's take a look at some emotes. We have Neil, Warrior Salute, Marshmallow, Sweetheart, Flex, Taunt, Uproarious, Pumpkin Smash, and Zombie Walk. Up next, we have our victory poses. We have Confident, Flex, Legendary, Pumpkin, R.I.P., Toast, Neil, and Metal. And lastly, for our highlight intros, we have Charge, Hammer Down, Snowball Fight, and finally, more stretching required. And lastly, let's take a look at his golden weapon. So this is what it looks like before, and this is what it looks like after. And I feel like after, it does look pretty, pretty, pretty cool. It definitely gives a little bit more like color and pop to it, because before, there really was no color. It was just literally metal. That is all it was. And we have some nice little red accent colors on there, too. So that uh, this actually makes it look a lot cooler. Oh, let's look at this animated intro for Ron. Man, look at that. I love that the light illuminates and goes darker and brighter. I love that monocle. It's a gold monocle. I just The snow looks fantastic on this skin. So let's check this skin out in first person. So you can just see the hammer straight off the bat. And again, like I said, the hammer is slightly boring. I mean, look at that. It's literally just that dark gray metal. And you see a splash of red and blue on the very top and bottom of this skin. I mean, it's literally nothing too spectacular. When you turn the skin, you can actually see that fire aspect out of the back. So that is actually interesting. You actually have some jiggle physics right here on the very front of the skin where you kind of like swing it. This is what it looks like when we're swinging. You know, it's just that. Let's look up and say hello. Nice to see those hands, the little hydraulics on there. That's pretty cool. So this is what it looks like when we do a fire charge. Okay, so you can see the whole hammer in that for a split second. When we dash, you can actually see, you know, the back for a second as well with the hammer. And you know what's actually interesting that I just heard? It sounded like when he was charging, there's a whistle that goes off. It sounds like a train going. Dude, that is phenomenal. That is the coolest thing I've heard on a Reinhardt skin. There's, I don't think there's any other skins that even come close to doing that. Let me listen to that again. That is so super duper cool. I mean, we don't get anything unique when we actually shoot the flames out, but I mean, that is phenomenal. Let's check out the shield. You can see the back of the skin. Um, on top of where that is, the shield looks completely normal like we would normally see. I mean, that is so cool. All right, what's our hammer down look like? Nice. Man, that is so cool. And with that being said, let's go over this skin. So, negatives first. I feel like the skin itself is slightly boring when it comes to the weapon. I mean, like, the train part of the skin is really cool. But I feel like the colors just don't really do too well. I wish there might have been some snow on the, the hammer as as well as the skin. Because, I mean, the skin looks phenomenal. I think the snow actually adds a nice pop of color that we needed to the skin. I feel like we should have had that on the weapon itself. I feel like that would have made it look a little bit cooler. I mean, I just feel like the, the gray, the blue, and the red just, you know, it, it makes it a little boring. But, I mean, whatever. The skin itself, like the actual skin, I feel like it could have also added a little bit more color because it really was just, just the gray and, you know, at, at the bottom, I wish it would have had full snow coverage. But, I mean, other than that, I really don't have many other complaints. Positives, the first one right off the bat is this feature where when you are dashing, you have that train sound. I mean, that literally makes the skin so unique and cool. I didn't know that it did that until I literally used it a second ago. I love the snow on there. Dude, his monocle is phenomenal. I love that on the back, we actually even have that smokestack. I mean, you can see right here, the smokestack is a very unique feature to the skin as well. I think that is pretty baller energy uh and i mean just i think this skin is really 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 good I, I really do i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna give this skin an eight out of ten and i feel like it would have been higher if the hammer would have been a little bit better um but dude i think that little animation or like the little sound it makes when you charge literally gives the skin so many cool factors that this skin is absolutely worth it i think the skin is so good and so anyways thank you so much for watching i will see y'all later